Okay, so I saw the most amazing mouse trap on Pinterest last year. We had had one mouse in the cabin and I was worried we were gonna get more. And when this was sent to me, the reason I was excited about it was that, for one thing, they don't suffer. It's very fast. For another thing, you don't have to reload it. You can get as many mice as come up to it as long as you, I think it's, oh, there, there's, a, there's a pump in it that's pressurized and it hits them on the head. Yeah, it's CO2. So here's the little, the little canister that pressurizes it. And this is the actual mousetrap. My understanding is, is that the mice go up in here, it bonks them, they fall out, and then the next, next mouse comes up, it bonks them, it falls out. So you can have this little pile of mice in the morning if you're really overrun. My understanding is also that it has a little bit of a bait system. So I don't want to set it up in my house. Instead, what I'm going to do is find a space out here to set it up that is like at the corner of the house, but away from the main, you know, house. So at the porch is where I'm going to set it up. Um, in the past, I would have just wanted to set it up in my greenhouse, but the greenhouse is being used by the renters right now. And so I will ask her if she needs it out there, but otherwise I will just set it up here next to the porch somewhere. Okay, here's the bait that pulls them over. Okay, so these little things, you put them in strategic points and the mice will come and chew on them and that will indicate there have been mice in that area so that you know where to put it. That's really neat. And you just use these little, you have these little screws. So one screw for each lure. All right, so fold the detector card in half with the orange triangle detection service facing out. And you need to squeeze it out just a little bit so that it primes it. And then you put in the screw into the little hole. The screw should be firmly, should be in firmly, but take care not to force the card flat against the tree. This allows the rodents to get their mouth around the card and leave bite marks on the detect surface. And then it has these pictures of how that works. And you're supposed to leave it out for three nights. And that's where you set your traps. If you get bite marks on it, that's where you set your traps. It's for rats too, so it'll kill rats. And then it shows how to tell whether the bite marks are from rats or from mice. Oh, little bird, you scared me. That was a robin. I was thinking rats and then I saw robin and it startled me. Okay, so I need to test this out. See if it works and we'll get back to you.